And Shrouded is one of those games that I've been playing in my free time and haven't really posted any videos on. And it'll show in this video, you'll see, as you can see, there's a lot of uh, building that's been done here uh, with our group. And, and Shrouded has probably one of the coolest formulas for world exploration I've seen in a long time, especially in a survival crafting setting so the game is heavily built upon heights and like dangers at lower depths it's kind of like if you took the floors lava concept and just turned it into like a whole world idea um but not to an extreme like there's still a lot of area that's not covered in the shroud but it still manages to keep that idea. Um, but traversal is based upon a glider. So you can get between structures and cross great divides. Oh, well, <laughs> my glider glitched out there. Um, why is it doing that? <laughs> oh, there we go. Must be having trouble loading in the texture for it. But uh, the, the world traversal is based on the glider and uh, the grapple hook. And the grappling hook can only be used on specific points in the world. However, that might sound not like a great system. But if you have bases built, you can put these grapple points wherever you want on your structures. And that allows you to grapple around. You can build, like, height points and then glide around your structures to traverse. Um, also, speaking of the shroud, the shroud is this feature that when entered, you're put on a timer. Uh, if you are still in the shroud, when that timer hits zero, it's just instant death. Uh, there are ways to extend that timer and um, also just exiting the shroud uh makes the timer go back up so i mean if you can find safe area or build your way up out of the shroud uh you, you can usually avoid death by it um very rarely have i died to the shroud timer um usually it's because there are certain enemies in later points in the game that when they hit you it will drop your shroud timer so you have to be careful of that uh combat however is not in your typical uh survival crafting style it has more of a third person action game approach to it which i really appreciate um magic is really well orchestrated um probably not one of the better spells for me here let me try uh fireball here we go so magic is really well done in this um but like i said it's more third person action game style um, there are wands that you can use that really don't have ammo or any, like, ammo quotations. They don't use mana or any resources. Uh, the tool does lose durability over time, but aside from that, uh, which durability, I know that's a uh, touchy subject for a lot of survival games because it can either be done really well or horribly wrong. Um, the way Enshrouded approaches durability is one of the better ways I, that I appreciate more uh, survival games taking. Uh, so if you walk up to this little table and you click on it, it just repairs everything you have. That's it. Simple as that. You just click a table and it repairs everything. Um, house decorating is incredible. Uh, everything that you see in here is hand-placed. Um, and these tables are not um, already pre-decorated. Every single piece of decoration you see in here is an item you can craft and place in your home. Uh, think full decoration customization. And it's really incredible how much detail there is. Uh, building gets down to singular blocks. So everything in here is a singular block that can be broken out and... Uh, you can see it a lot better right here, actually, this stone wall. That is the scale of a lot of the stone building. I think these are still four bys, but uh, 
you can get some incredible detail in this game, especially with decorations. So if you're a fan of building, I believe the game recently did implement a uh, creative mode or just infinite resources to kind of allow people to do creative more in it. Uh, it used to not be that way, but there were workarounds for it. Uh, but thankfully, that's not a issue anymore. But at the end of the day, I think I can, without a doubt, say I re highly recommend Enshrouded. Um, and I would also, uh, they're not spawn, they, they're not a sponsor of this video or anything, but I highly recommend checking out, like, their TikTok and, like, the videos that they do to promote their updates. Uh, they're very involved with the community, and they listen to community votes on, like, what people want implemented into the game so they very much work with their player base on what people want implemented into it but also working it into uh the style of game that they're wanting to make and it's it's kind of it's a perfect harmony that i think they've managed to uh capture with enshrouded that all being said thank you so much for watching i hope this video helped you out and if it did hit the like button I will see you in the next one.